Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biology at your fingertips and today we are learning The Living World Part 4. The links of The Living World Part 1, 2, 3 will be on the description below. You can check it out before or after this video. So we are talking about classification of various organisms present all around the globe. So what is classification? Classification is the process by which all the organisms present in the atmosphere or in the surrounding are grouped based on easily observable characters let us take an example the organism that has three pair of appendages are placed in insecta class insecta and the organisms that has a notochord are placed in phylum chordata So as we are classifying the organisms of insecta and organisms of chordata based on easily observable characters, that's why this process of classification of these organisms is classification simply. So each and every category of classification is known as taxa. Each and every category. For example, we will talk about beet. Beet that is triticum astigum is a genus and species that is also a taxa. There is a part of kingdom plantae. So the plantae will also be a taxa. But all the categories can be a taxa but at different levels. For example, wheat and plantae are related to each other that is wheat is a part of kingdom plantae. But these are taxa at different levels. One is representing you know a phylum or a bigger division that is kingdom. And one is simply representing the species. So this is all about the taxa. So taxonomy is another feature. Taxonomy is also a kind of grouping of organisms based on external structure that is morphology, internal structure that is anatomy, cell structure which is the structure of these uh, cells of these particular organisms and their ecological relationships and their you know relationship with ecology are the basis of this is a very important line are the basis of modern taxonomy so we are talking about taxonomy modern taxonomy the basis of taxonomy there are four bases of taxonomy according to ncrt and we have placed it in a regular manner so what are the four base bases these are characterization Identification, Classification and Nomenclature. So these four are the basis of taxonomy. The earliest classification will be based on their uses. For example, if we are using a particular organism for fodder, so all the organisms that are used in fodder are placed in one convenient category. If some another species is used for wood, it is used, uh, it is placed in another category. Some for grains, some for pulses. So the earliest classification, this forms a very important line, is based on the uses of different kind of organisms. So the another wider, uh, you know, term is systematics, and systematics is taxonomy plus the relationships or evolutionary relationships between organisms evolutionary relation between the organisms so it provides a broader term and Carolus Linus has written some books who has also given the binomial nomenclature which we have already studied in previous lectures these are Systema Naturally, may be asked in AI 50 and species plantarum. These are the two books that are given in NCRT, which are written by Carolus Linus, and the categories that are the taxas may be of various levels and they are 
plays in ascending or descending order which is known as hierarchy and each of the category is known as taxon which we have already discussed earlier so in ncrt there is a very complicated line we have to focus on that particular line that the group of organisms form a convenient category and that particular category forms a rank or a taxon which is the unit of taxonomy taxon is the unit of taxonomy as the name indicates so the group of organisms form a convenient category and that category form the rank or taxon which is the unit of taxonomy as we have discussed earlier in ncrt it has mentioned a very important line that the category is the distinct biological entities and not merely the morphological aggregates so the categories about which we are talking right now are the biological entities which are distinct as one category is distinct from another category and not this very important point and not merely morphological aggregates so the categories are not simply morphological aggregates but are distinct biological entities in themselves so let us read now the hierarchy so here is a trick kids put cats on fire gas stove kids put cats on fire gas stove so this is for k it is kingdom for p it means phylum and in plants we use another term we don't use phylum for plants for plant we use a term that is division so k means kingdom p for phylum c for class o for order f for family g for genus and s for species this is the taxonomical hierarchy from kingdom to species so now when we talk about the similarities as you know that the species are very much the organisms in a particular species are very much you know similar to each other so as we go from kingdom to species the similarities increases but as we know that according to r h whitaker's system of classification there are only five kingdom so there are a huge diversity of organisms in a particular kingdom so when we talk about kingdom the similarities are going to be decrease so it forms a very important question that we uh, you know move from kingdom to species the similarities goes on increasing and when we uh, go from species to kingdom the similarities will decrease so this is all about the living world part 4 I just request you to note down this particular mnemonic. This is very important from the examination point of view, as you can be asked to arrange these particular terms into their ascending or descending order. So thank you so much, guys, for watching these videos. And I have got some requests to make some videos on, uh, you know, tricks for Krebs cycle and glycolysis. So I am preparing those kind of videos. So after this particular lecture, we will be talking about those videos. Thank you so much again for watching this video. And if you really like this video, then press like button. Subscribe my channel if you are new and tell your friends to subscribe my channel too. Thank you so much again guys.